Spend your money easier, better robot eyes, and hands-free driving. Just rely on the cameras. I'm Pilpina, guest hosting for Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Me TV. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Thrillist. Boxy is a great company. They give you the ability to easily watch movies, TV shows, podcasts, whatever, from your computer on your TV. There's been a lot of excitement and anticipation over the Boxy Box, which is a set-top box that allows you to do the same, and you can watch Netflix and YouTube and use Pandora, all without having to connect your computer and use a keyboard and mouse. Pretty cool. Well, in November, regardless of if you're using the Box or the software version, you'll have access to Vudu. They announced their partnership, so you'll get to stream from Vudu's claim of the largest HD library out there. They have over 3,000 HD titles and you pay two bucks for two nights. Nice move, guys. If you want to check out the Boxy Box, go to geekbeat.tv slash boxybox. Well, Sprint is taking a step forward and offering customers a way to purchase things easier. Is that something we really need? Well, actually, it looks pretty good, assuming everything works as planned. It's called Mobile Wallet, and it's an app that will be downloaded from the Sprint Zone, which is kind of an app in itself, but pre-installed. Customers will sync up their Visa, MasterCard, or Amazon payments accounts and enter a PIN code that's associated with the accounts. They say more options are on the way. This system will allow someone to purchase both items online and physical things. It's much more obvious how it works with digital stuff, but not as clear about the physical side of this idea. You click purchase, it asks for your PIN, you enter, and bam, you're done. Well, we all rely on our GPS these days, I wouldn't know where to go without mine. Put me somewhere, turn me around, and I'm lost. That's how bad it is. Well, anyway, what if we relied on video cameras and laser scanners instead? I wonder what kind of trouble that would get us into. An 8,000 mile trek was made using just that to navigate from Italy to China. It's part of a research initiative to improve the technology in our cars. And get this. Humans weren't even driving the vehicle. Although there were humans in the car, of course. The system they used is called Generic Obstacle and Lane Detector, or GOLD. It works to control the speed and the direction using just the solar-powered laser scanners and seven video cameras. Help me in welcoming a new sponsor to GeekBeat TV. We usually get stuck in normal daily routines, but often daydream about trying something new in our city. A new restaurant, club, outdoor activity. Thrillist helps you find those places. How about a restaurant with a sushi robot or a beer garden that screens 80s flicks? I don't even know what a beer garden is, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> you can find cool, different stuff in your city by going to thrillist.com slash geekbeat and signing up for their emails. Very cool. I've signed up and can't wait to see what new experiences are coming my way. I think there's an earlier version of this robot girl floating around out there, but if so, they've made some vast improvements. We're getting closer to a world where we don't know who's fake and who's real. As you can see, the mouth still needs work, and if we don't add movement to the cheeks and the forehead, she'll look like she's just had a lot of plastic surgery. But the eyes, the eyes are getting better and more realistic. 
Well, we're giving away three free Zombs, a great little gadget that helps you not lose your phone. Head on over to geekbeat.tv slash Zom giveaway to find out more. Oh, and happy Halloween, everyone. Callie told me to tell you guys that she put an extra special treat in her iPhone app for Halloween. Check it out at callielewis.me slash Callie app and click on extras if you haven't upgraded. Thanks for watching, guys. I had so much fun co-hosting for Callie this week. It was great hanging out with all you guys. Callie will be back next week. So have a great weekend and see you later. Bye. I don't what? care. No, you Dutch people don't get it. I know. That's no, so it's Pepsi so or, it's, or Dr. Pepper. Hey, I don't care what. Knock it off, gang. Look, I'm really, you guys need to. I, don't, I no. expect a little bit of professionalism. We're good. We're friends. No, we're good. Much of love here. No. I hate you.